Hello. In this episode, I'm going to show you the equipment that we use on any wedding or event, uh, being lighting, sound, uh, cameras, and other little toys. This was March. <laughs> Here at Holmes Mill, we're filming the Visit Lancashire event. It's pancake day. I've just found out that Dave Skull's upstairs working, so I'm gonna go and bug him. I brought you a pie! <laughs> Calzone pie! You can always come Which one's your office, dude? I'm going into David Skull's office. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, this is it, it's it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. I'm back up and I've just brought David a little bit of dinner. Just make sure he's not lonely. He's gonna cut it in half for us. Go on, David. Yeah, I don't really know. They, they just think we're a little, you know, loads of mills and you know, flat caps and, and whippets, so. I'm gonna give you a, a brief list of what we have on ourselves pretty much 95% of the day. Me and Lisa both have the same camera set up, so we both, um, our air cameras are the Sony a7 III, and then there's our backup cameras, which see, we both have uh, two A6500s uh, with a, a small assortment of lenses, which we use. I also keep one audio recorder being the Sony TX650, which I might use for ambient audio, or just to record musicians or anything just throughout the day. Or if there's suddenly a surprise uh, reading or uh, speech or anything like that, I can quickly attach this onto the shirt, jacket, dress, anything like that. Spare batteries in the pocket, spare memory cards, a little GoPro just to get behind the scenes or for vlogging purposes. And two of these Black Widow spiders, uh, which are used to attach the cameras to my belt so I don't need to be lugging around all the time. And all that equipment fits either in my pocket or on my belt, so I don't need to worry about carrying bags with me all day and I can just concentrate on filming. Audio equipment. So, as mentioned before, we do carry a few of these popular Sony TX650s. They're relatively cheap. Um, the sound quality is good not great i don't use them from a prime audio source what we do use is the tascam dr10 with lav mic um, they're a little bit more fiddly to attach but the the sound is is so much better and you really want to be getting the best sound when you're recording the ceremony and the speeches really we do use these exclusively for the ceremony and the speeches and if we need a couple of more mics then we use the uh, the sony's and there's a couple of attachments for these uh, one being a dead kitten and it's actually saved my audio quite a few times one being a, a wedding on a beach that we had last year and the wind was absolutely horrendous but you could not hear any of it just thanks to this little guy in regards to support and stabilization we do uh, obviously keep uh, a lot of equipment in our car being tripods and monopods like such and we don't use, really use them that much because uh, we like to operate pretty much handheld um, because, well, really, you can film much quicker, you're not lugging things around, you don't stick out like a sore thumb. Now, a couple of toys that we might use are something like uh, a gimbal. This one's a, a crane, um, which we use just to get some of the uh, sort of motion shots, walking shots. And as you can see here, we used it for the bride's arrival, um, the confetti shots, uh, a couple of shots during the drink reception walking around. We don't really like to overdo the gimbal shots. You know, done right, they can look great in our production value, but they can be over, they really can be overused sometimes. And that also goes the same for the drones. We would use this at the beginning of the day, just get some establishing shots and periodically get it out if the venue and weather permits, really. There's only a couple of times that we use lighting in a wedding. Pretty much all the time we use it on the first dance, just so we can light it. was usually a dark room by then. Uh, but the lights are hidden within the DJs or the band setup, so you really don't notice them. And possibly during the speech as well, because if it's a really dark room, um, the, it can look really flat if you don't actually light the person. It doesn't take much, we usually light them from the back, very small light, uh, they barely notice it. And you can see in this example here, uh, the bride's maid got up to do a speech and it, it was okay, the lighting, but as soon as we threw a light on it, the image just improved so much.
So for the fifth or possibly sixth year, we are filming the Penner Awards down in Birmingham with Events Northern. So the day before we took an early trip down so we could pop into the uh, Birmingham NEC for the photography show, I bought nothing. And then check into our hotel room, get an early night's sleep because it was a, a long day the next day of filming. 14 presentations, Lisa was in one room shooting seven, I was in another room shooting another seven. Uh, keynotes, uh, networking and interviews to put together around about 20 videos for the website and social media pages. So that was March, thanks for watching. To those who were filming next month, see you soon. Bye for now.